Two months felt like forever after the fire. But I finally had real estate and was thankfully ready for changes. Like selling my fifth wheel. Patrick from the Lit Cactus, who you've seen him before, and he's getting ready to put an attachment on the front of my fifth wheel. So that, there's the attachment, and then that means it goes on that gooseneck right over there. Yeah, I'm hoping that works. All right, it's an adapter going on the fifth wheel. All right. All the way up. Hand me that big old wrench. I and there it goes. Last time driving out of this crazy quarter mile driveway. All right, we are actually on the road now. Thirteen years calling it home while I worked summers as a park ranger, then retired and parked the last two years on a beautiful Skull Valley ranch where I spent very little time. Down the Yarnell Hill, SR 89 South. Safely parked with the tribe of Hannah's caravan, where I could empty and clean, but ready for sale. First an overnight and much needed respite in seclusion with the Kofa Mountains in closer sight than other vehicles. Then back to the caravan camp to empty and clean the fifth wheel and be frequently distracted by glorious sunsets. As I try to empty closets, it seems I have too many coats, and it seems like there's some jewelry things here. I make them piles, piles all the time, piles, piles on the bed. Not sure whether to keep it or not. My beautiful stained glass clock. Now it's the last piece of stained glass I made, 
and I'm going to pack it away and keep it. Can't hang it anywhere right now. Piles. Piles everywhere. Some of these piles will stay and some of these piles will go. And I'm packing. And this is all crystals in here. Cut glass, leaded glass. And I have a bunch of books that need to find a home as well. Moving out is not so much fun. After 12 years living in my beautiful fifth wheel, I tell you what, it's an awful lot of work. From 36 feet to 20 feet. Dang, it's not so easy, you know. Going through old art, it's pretty crazy. I have a huge pile of stuff that's going to go away because why would I keep it? There's no place to put it. It's a lot of old work. Yep. Oh, well. Hard decisions. Keep or give away. Thankful for my generation's awesome music. Not sure I can share music from the festival. Today's windy view, driving to Yuma. Mostly a tailwind. Thank goodness we got off that rough section of the road. Good God. Our transportation system is in terrible shape. 21 miles to Yuma, yeah, rah. Dope Valley to the left, you know, it's still part of the Kofas. An absolutely gorgeous, but I'd be pointing you right into the sunshine if I showed you. After a one and a half hour drive to a big box store and almost an hour with a salesman, the laptop I wanted wasn't in stock. I ordered one, but never received it. Camped a little ways out of town that night. Palm Canyon, yay! We're gonna make it just barely. Hey, look at that red on the mountains. Yee haw! All right, we still have another mile to go before camp. So I'll meet up with you there. The rough mile, slow. Rough smile. Well, I pulled in just in time for sunset. Let's check it out. It's never easy for me to leave Kofa. It's so beautiful out here. It's so quiet, peaceful, except for a little wind. Sorry about that.
But I've got things to do, so darn it all. I gotta go. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And I'm thankful for the time I got to spend here one night at Kofa. All right, almost home. See the sign over here to the right, the lit cactus. Straight ahead of us, where the flag is and the two guys by the motorcycle. I'm guessing that's probably Patrick by the stance. And he's the man when it comes to the lit cactus, okay? They'll be getting ready for tomorrow. Thanksgiving. All right, Thanksgiving at the Lit Cactus.